All right, let's do this. Hello. Hello and welcome to Accidental Origin, your weekly writing web show. My name is Brendan. How's it all going? <laughs> How's it all going? How's it going all? Not sure how stable my internet is right now. It's been spiking, so we'll have to see how it goes. screen uh, I wanted to get into a mindset of doing flash fiction again I thought the last time was pretty good uh, but I think I can do better <laughs> um, I'm also in that kind of mindset for uh, what I want to do professionally excuse me writing some flash fiction sending it out seeing how it goes you know I'm doing that whole being a pro writer thing. So yeah, uh, I'm planning on spending the first section here um, to plan out the story and then I'll use the last parts to, to draft it. Um, Keeping an eye on my frame rates here. I'm trying my best too. stop and restart the stream see if I can't make that go
Is it working? Showing up for you guys in the same way. Oh my god. Yeah, no, my connection was having trouble to the Chicago servers, so I had to switch some things around. I have no idea what the hell is wrong with my... my chat alerts. Because I have not changed them, so I don't know why they're friggin' ridiculous. It should be good now. It's weird. That was super odd. Anyway. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> there goes like <laughs> four or five minutes. Did it? 
I didn't notice. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> you saw it and I didn't. Yeah, I think I just hit an errant button and I accidentally resized the whole uh, window. It happens. When? Oh. Yeah, I see it now. Probably just thought you were talking about something else. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, writing and things. The thing that I do from time to time. So yeah, um, like I was saying before, which I don't know if anyone heard that. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be doing some flash fiction So I want to get in that mindset and uh, work on some stuff and get it out there. So yeah. Um, cool. So what kind of story do you want to write? Um, I'm cool with pretty much anything except fantasy because that's pretty much all I've been doing on stream and I don't want to do anymore. <laughs> Actually, I really do. I want to write some more, but uh, I shouldn't. So yeah, hit me up, peeps. <laughs> How meta. Uh, it's over there. I just didn't fill it up today. I haven't been drinking enough water.
should. I'm in the wrong document. Should be in here. Doing some brainstorming. Beginnings. So I'm doing noir. I can do noir. Is that because you just want to see me write noir, Sam? You need some inspiration? Detectives and cigarette butts. Uh, yeah. Uh, also the femme fatale is a huge part of the war. I told you, Johnny. I'm brainstorming. Brainstorming.
<laughs> nice. Just call him Grog. Oh wait, uh, Alex is female, um, I don't know, I got nothing. Yeah, we're talking about our D and D session that we had on Friday. <laughs> that that's the point it's supposed to that's the whole thing behind his character Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I've never read a noir novel, <laughs> uh, but I have seen a ton of noir films. So I understand how noir is constructed, uh, but my question is, perspective. Uh, is the general noir written from a, uh, from a first person perspective or a third person, person per oh, wow. third person's perspective? Or is it a mix of both? Is it just a, a general mix? I can see that as well.
yeah, see, that's what I would have thought, too, because they kind of have that, like, overarching narrative, right? Uh, or, sorry, that overarching narrator. But I wouldn't have thought it would have to be. Um, I guess what we should look at is... The Noir man himself. No, I didn't play Max Payne. I didn't own a, a console when that stuff came out. Well, the Maltese Falcon is, is written in third-person perspective. So there. Yeah, I, I never played it. Um, I've always kind of wanted to, but but I never actually played it. was a big fan of uh, Alan Wake though so that studio is, is all right by me Give me a second, guys. I'll be back.
back. I was trying to work on my short fiction skills. Why would it be fan fiction? I don't write fan fiction. That's one of the most boring pairings, Sam. Come on. It's almost as bad as Kirk Spock. Was like seven of nine Janeway. Oh, that's just a seven of nine is a cool character. Is it it's spelled with an I? Or am I thinking of someone else?
So flash fiction is fiction under a thousand words, generally between 500 and a thousand. Uh, it's designed to be short. Uh, I talked about it three weeks ago, four weeks ago, no, three weeks ago. Yeah. In episode 24. I'm just saying. <laughs> decided not to do that. I will be doing that eventually though. I do want to do that. Right now, yeah. I'm trying to figure out how I would do a noir style. I'm thinking that this should be way, way lower. So noir uh, is specifically in reference to uh, film noir and the idea of hard-boiled detectives. Um, it's very cynical. Um, in the beginning, because it was all in black and white, it came across as very... Um, Like, they did a lot of really interesting shadow work. Uh, very... Um, very cynical, very... Um, I'm 
trying to think of like what's the best way to describe it. <laughs> uh, it's yeah, it's tough and unsentimental. It's almost always about uh, private detectives or PIs, private investigators. Uh, some of the most famous examples being uh, Maltese Falcon, uh, Black Mask, The Big Sleep. Yeah. Maltese Falcon, The Big Sleep. Oh, The Killers is pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see this. I can pump it up a bit. Big Heat is really good as well. Uh, I've never seen Touch of Evil, but I really want to. Wait, Kurosawa did a noir film? Damn. I want to see that. For sure. Uh, I've seen two of the five Dirty Harrys. I would not really consider Dirty Harry to be a noir film, uh, though it does have similarities. Dirty Harry kind of shares that grittiness, but at the same time, it's a lot more about hope in a weird way. Yeah, I could see that, Sam, for sure. Like, I agree, there's, there's so much similarity to that sort of noir style, but the film itself, I would not consider a noir film. Um... Because I agree with you, right? Like, it, it has that sort of weird, sort of oddly optimism, oddly optimism, yeah. Odd optimism. I'm trying to think of a good modern example other than maybe Blade Runner.
I guess Sin City would be a great example. Though it's a little, uh, it's stylistically overdone on purpose. Same with the spirit to a certain extent. Isn't horror kind of boring? No, that's just not true. Yeah, it's, it's about uh, the alienation for sure. Um, I think it's... Uh, I think it's very reflective. Like, in a lot of ways, it, it tries very hard to reflect the human condition. Where by taking away those over... Like, over... Taking away that, like, high emotional content, you're kind of forcing people... To just be be who they are on a very basic level. Like that sort of idea of uh, narrowing to a focus. Uh, Miss Peregrine's home for something children.
Yeah. I decided I don't like Tim Burton anymore. Well, not to the extent I used to like him, anyway. Because he, A, he cast Johnny Depp way too much, and B, I've kind of felt like a lot of his movies have the same feeling, and I don't think that he's really, I don't think he's really pushed himself as a director in... Since, I don't know, probably 2005. I mean, that being said, I guess that's a little unfair. He hasn't exactly written any of his films except his animated ones, right? Uh, the three animated ones and Edward Scissorhands. Um, yes and no. Well, here's the thing. I mean, let's compare two really good examples. <clears throat> uh, the two main examples, I guess there's three, but I won't count the third one because I think that's a bad comparison. Uh, the third one being John Hughes. But... The two directors I think of who do this a lot, um, they use the same cast all the time, almost. You know, they have a, a, a small stable of friends that they use. So Tim Burton is really bad for that. Uh, and uh, Quentin Tarantino is also a big person who does that. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, when you look at Quentin Tarantino's work versus... Tim Burton's work. Quentin Tarantino, yes, has a very, very same, has a similar style throughout his films, but his films bring that style to unique genres and they bring that style to different things. Whereas for me, Tim Burton, like Tim Burton does weird fantasy films. Uh, there's a couple exceptions to that, but that's pretty much what he does. He all, like he casts his wife and uh, Johnny Depp all the time. There's some others like that he works with. And for me, his style has kind of create like has kind of become a little bit stagnant, where he's created this sort of. It's a Tim Burton movie, so you should buy it, or you should go watch it. Like you know what I mean. And it's got that weird darkness, but that darkness is exactly the same. All the time. You know? Where when, you know, like Tarantino put out... Like Tarantino put out a Western. And like that was... That was a big thing. Because he had written like crime films. And like different stuff. And then he... You know, he did like The Hateful Eight. Which was another sort of Western style. 
it was a totally different type of film than his previous western. You know, it was more of a, a locked room who done it sort of style thing. Uh, in the in the vein of like Twelve Angry Men. In a lot of ways, uh, Quentin Tarantino is a guy who loves references. He's a film student. He's studied film. He loves referencing films he's watched. So, you know, when you talk about... Like, I could totally see him being like, sit down and watch 12 Angry Men and be like, yeah, I'm going to do something like this. And he does it. You know what I mean? Like, that's the feeling I get from, like, the Hateful Eight and stuff like that. Like, Dark Shadows was mediocre. Alice in Wonderland was okay, but it was basically him trying to do Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and Alice in Wonderland. Like, there's a lot of... Stuff like that, right? Whereas, you know, if you look at his earlier films, things like uh, Big Fish and Mars Attacks and Ed Wood and Batman, like those are all things that I really like. So I don't know. It is, however, break time. Uh, so I'm going to take a five-minute break, get some more water. I'll see you all in a bit. <laughs> 